Okay, <clears throat> so it's Monday morning. I got a snow day from school. So um, uh, if you've been kind of keeping tabs of the snowmobile that I've been working on, I had a, um, what basically happened was an injector got plugged, which caused this cylinder to run lean and it took out the rings in the piston. So, um, put all new OEM rings and pistons and all that stuff in it. And the injector, I didn't really know it was the injector that caused it originally, but one out of the four, there's two per cylinder, one out of the four was really bad and dirty looking. So when we, when it got taken apart, so the guy that did my engine work for me, he soaked it and stuff, but um, I don't think it really did the job it was supposed to. So anyways, um, I put sea foam in it and it's been doing a lot better. Like it started kind of sputtering originally at 40 miles an hour. And then uh, I put about a tank through a gas with sea foam in it. And then it, then it was like 60 miles per hour and kind of sputter. And the other day um, I was out uh, going across a field and all that stuff. And then I was going about 80 before it finally kind of started sputtering. So um, it definitely is getting better, but we're getting ready to go on a big trip next weekend, and I want to make sure that everything's good. And I came across a guy at a car show last weekend. They had an indoor car show at our in Flint, and uh, the guy said that he could clean the injectors, test them, make sure they're all good. So I watched a uh, five or five part series of a guy taking the um, injectors out on the same sled, but it was all in French. But I kind of got the gist of it, so I'm going to make my version of what he did. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to take this belt off, and then I'm going to um, take, I guess this is called the secondary clutch. I'm, I'm kind of new in a stolen belt. I think this is a primary clutch. This is a secondary clutch. So I'm going to uh, take the belt off and then take this bolt out, which should allow me to take that out off. So... The belt's pretty easy to take off. Skidoo's like little tool kit. It's got a nice little tool. And uh, I'm gonna try to keep these video segments in like five minutes chunk. So anyways, Skidoo's tool kit. And we want this thing right here. You see, and then it unfolds. I don't know if you can see that. And there's a arrow. I've taken this belt on and off a bunch of times. There's an arrow pointing right here, and there's a hole. So you put that in there, thread it in. Let me get her started. All right. So she's in. Anyways, I'll tell you, I don't know if all snowmobiles are uh, there's how they have their systems, but Skidoo really did a great job with this thing. This thing is sweet. You just twist it, and as you twist it, it uh, spreads the clutch out, I guess. I don't really know what it does, but uh, you can see the belt's dropping down in. So it's creating to make it looser, looser, looser. And uh, eventually you get it loose enough that you can just pull the belt off. So anyways, a couple more cranks. And that's probably good. So, you see, it gets real loose, and you just pull the belt off. So, the only thing is with these, is the tool box kit itself that the kind of gets in the way. Not a big deal, though. Well, sometimes it is. Of course, when I'm making a video, it is. Anyways, so, belt off. Yeah, the toolbox thing, sometimes it gets gets hung up, you know, but not a big deal. Put the belt up there. I'm going to leave that wrench in there, and I've already, it's a 13 millimeter, so I'm just going to break it loose, hopefully. I was wondering if this thing was going to spin, but I could see that 
it definitely is engaged right to the track because the track tried spinning when I was spinning it. So maybe this is the primary and that's the secondary. I don't know. I don't think so though. And like I said, the video I watched, he just, once he had that bolt out, it just, this thing pulled right off. So, which it is, but see right now, I got to take that tool, tool kit out of the way to get it. So, all right, I'm going to stop the video now. You can see this, this will slide. It'll come right off, but the tool kit is in the way. So apparently I'm going to have to figure out how to get, I'm sure just a couple like little bolts. It's always something. So anyways, I'll make a, a, a second part here in a minute. I'm going to do a bunch of five-minuteers.